10 tips for beginners in cosmetry, ranging from very obvious to I should have known that from the start. And we're beginning right now with tip number one. When you're starting a new game in career mode, you not only have the combat difficulty and the economy difficulty to choose from, no, you can also go into advanced options and reveal all question marks or you just simply get more credits and stuff for missions. Galaxy size right now is not choosable, but crew fame ratio is choosable. But what's really cool is that you can also choose the different ship that you want to start with. If you don't like Model L, Model C and Model S, you can also load a custom ship, but you got a budget. And with that budget, you can go into all the built-in ships and grab another one that's available to you. Like, for example, the Lux. So you got now a different ship that you can start with a new game. Tip number two, it works like in every other strategy game, you can address groups in here. If you hold down shift, you can select more than just a single piece of equipment and then you hold down control and press for example one and you have group number one which are your weapons in this case. Then you can disable or enable them without the need of picking them all up yourself every single time. Same for all the thrusters, give it group number two and now you can switch between group one and two and that works for every single ship. If you have more than one then you can select groups on every one of these individually. Why is that important? Well sometimes you maybe have disruptors and lasers and you just want to destroy the shields before you destroy something behind it or you have mining lasers which are taking up a lot of energy and you want to disable them when you go into a fight. Tip number three, if you are in the build mode and you do a change that you don't like, like for example, getting rid of your thrusters, there is a way to undo it. Control Z undo. That's how it works. You can even do control shift Z and redo it if you like the change that you did. Same in the blueprint mode. If you remove something and you don't like the change, you just go back and redo all of it very fast. Tip number four, we're staying in the building mode, but maybe not that obvious. If you want to build something that's a little bit bigger and we're staying in the blueprint mode for that, let's say you want to build something like this. Doesn't make sense at the moment, but it doesn't matter. And you want to fill out the blanks. There is a possibility, I am already on it. There is a brush and there is also a fill mode, flood fill. And if you click on that, you can fill out all the stuff and that works with every single tool that you got there. So also with the delete tool, if you want to delete a big part of your ship, that works. Not only with the fill mode, but also like, for example, if you want to build ovals or triangles or whatsoever, that also works. Hold down your mouse button, uh, drag it and you got a complete new build right there. That works with lines, that works with boxes, like I said, ovals and triangles, all the stuff available. And also removing, fill remove, remove all that stuff at once, that works. Tip number five, when you're advancing through the ranks, you see that at the top left corner career log, and I'm talking about the galactic fame as ranks, you see that there are crew amounts that you get at every single rank while you're advancing with your fame through doing missions. But what you're maybe not aware of is that you don't increase the crew count by hitting those ranks but these crew counts are increased even throughout gaining more fame so even if you have not hit the next rank which is here 320 but the last rank is 247 you can already get more than 207 because the fame itself is increasing the crew that you can get at the moment i can get 256 so these are just stopping points for your fame but your crew can already go up when you did for example one more mission you can get more crew so whenever you are done with a mission and you need more crew that's the point where you can grab new ones at a station Tip number six, very useful if you are advancing to the next system, you can just simply fly around and search for the unknown signals and just simply fight everything off that's on the map. Once you've done that, there are fixed points on the map and even if you destroyed 
pirates or you destroyed already a fugitive, that is already a done quest. And if you do that before taking the quest, it's also possible that way. You can take the quest afterwards and then just simply finish it at the station where the quest is given to you. So you don't need to have the quest in order to finish it already, but you need the quest then to get the bounty and the fame and the bonus and whatsoever. Tip number seven, I heard these questions a lot. Yes, you can have more than a single ship. This is one ship, this is second ship. You can have more than one. That way you can build, for example, a station because a station, as you see right here, is just a differently built ship. You can build your own station, you can build a mining ship. The only limit that you have is your crew. If your crew count is high enough, you can have a fleet of a very large number of small ships or you can have a gigantic ship or you can split that up into one big ship and a few smaller ones which are then your supply ships, your mining ships or whatsoever. But be aware that mining ships do get attacked if they are staying somewhere out in the open and so you want to have some means of defense or at least that much armor that you have enough time to get there and provide the support for your support ships. Number eight, and I really want to give you tips that are not in the tutorial or in any menu in here in Cosmeteer. So when you're building your ship, you can actually let everything run the way it runs. You don't need to mess around with crew management, but if you do so, there are some things that you can keep in mind. Like for example, you can split up complete parts of the ship from each other with walls or armor or stuff like that. They don't need to be connected. Like this ship here has got this gigantic room underneath here. And then there are four different compartments up here, which run one shields and two the lasers. How are they connected to each other? Well, you just need an airlock for this one compartment and then your crew that is assigned to this compartment they can move around the ship through the airlock get out of this airlock get into the other airlock in here and then they can also freely move around the ship that way you can do very specific builds and that can maybe ease up your ship designs in the future tip number nine is that enemies are always trying to shoot the most vulnerable parts of your ship and if you're aware of those like for example they're always going for large reactor cores if they're outside instead of medium reactor cores they have like this priority to shoot the higher value things that are the closest to their range so in this case, we have the large reactor core that are always targets for enemy ships. And if you know that and you place bridges or large reactor cores or medium reactor cores, whatever you're building at the outside of your ship, you want to be aware that these are really good secured with, for example, more shields, larger shields, like in this case, more armor and stuff like that, so that your reactor cores are not broken up. Sometimes maybe you're not aware what's happening while your ship always gets destroyed at the same spot this is exactly why the most vulnerable parts like reactor cores and cockpits which will make your ship completely useless you want to secure those things first because they are being the target and if you know that it's even better because you know how to build your ship around that. If you're aware of that, you can build your ships properly in that regard. And tip 10 for not really beginners already, but for more advanced players. If you're starting out in a region 1 to 3, so this is the threat rating 1 to 3, and you have done that rating and you need to move up in order to get more fame, Go to a system that has got four to six and that way every single mission that you do will count to your fame rating. Though if you need money, then you can come back to something like two to four, get rid of everything on the map, do all the missions, that way you gain money. But if you're going for the fame, you leave one to three, you go to four to six, you leave four to six, you go to seven to nine. You see, because the missions 
are always giving you fame that way and you can do all of them at once with the tip that I already gave you that you can just simply fly around and destroy everything that you see because every single red ship on the, on the map will give you some benefit for your game. These are not all the tips that I can give you, of course. These are also not all the things that you need to know about Cosmeteer, obviously. But they are beginner friendly in this case and I hope you like them. My name is Captain Collins. We'll see us again in uh, the next video or on Twitch.tv slash Captain Collins if you want to see more. Like and subscribe as with everything else on YouTube, you know the drill. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.